In today's video, we are going to be learning how to make a safari landscape using atmospheric perspective. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is start mixing colors by pulling color from your palette and putting it into here. So this one is brown with a little bit of orange and this one's orange with a little bit of brown and then we have orange with a little bit of yellow. So as you can see, we're building this color palette that we're going to be using. Now I'm trying to think what parts of this painting I need to do first and allow to dry before I do other ones. So this hill might be important to dry before I put these things on top. But this one actually I could do here before the tree and let this one dry after. Um, the black's going to be on top because there's all this information behind it. So these are all things to consider. So I'm going to start with this mountain range here. So it's a fairly light one, it's near the back of my painting, but it's kind of, it starts about halfway across. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that line all the way across my painting. And then I'm gonna start to build how those hills look. And you wanna give it a little variety. You don't want it to be just zigzag, you wanna give yourself that idea that it's nature and has different moments itself. Okay, so now we have our first layer of our safari landscape. So we're going to let this area dry and we're going to bounce to another area so that we can allow everything to dry in between. So I'm actually going to go down to this one here with the brown. Now if you're curious why I jumped down here, it's because I know this layer here interacts with both of them so ideally this will be dry by the time we do this area here now as you can see this layer has something behind it right there's the sky behind it so we want to do the sky first and then the tree and when i'm pulling the paint from the palette i'll wash my brush in between each color and then i'll just pull it and i will try to not leave too moist of um, paint in there and then I'll bring it to here to kind of mix with something else. Right now I'm mixing the sky color so I want there to be some yellow in there and some white. It's getting close but it does need a fair bit of white to be added. Alright so now we're going to outline where that big beautiful moon is going to be. And then fill in the areas outside the moon. Alright, so now we have this beautiful background and we have um, the area of the moon prepared. So I'm thinking the next areas that we can work on will be this one here and then the moon because I think that the black's going to come in a little bit later. And you might notice this area isn't quite dry yet, so we're going to go over and work on the moon until that area is dry and then we can come back for the tree later. So the moon has these beautiful whites and yellows and it's very, very subtle. So you kind of just want to bring in a little bit of color where you can. You might want to add some just plain water so that you can just pick up a little bit of color and add it to it. All right, that's looking great. So now we can go in and work on um, the water here and then this hill here as well. Alright, so all the areas of the trees still need to dry. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that foreground that has the black in it. And then we'll add in the trees once everything's ready for that. Alright, so when you're doing these trees, try to do kind of like this beautiful curve to start it off. And then give yourself another curve within that same branch. Let it grow up. Have another curve to that branch. Same over here. And ideally, I think I would have done it not where there was the like press of the the top of the hill. And then you're just gonna kind of let there be this these beautiful leaves coming across the top there. And I think it looks really nice coming over the moon on just a little bit. Okay, 
awesome. And then now we're going to do this tree here. And this one I added a little bit more brown to the bottom. So with the smaller tree you might just have two branches or you might have a little bit more. Have that come across. So these ones are a little bit lower pressure and then you'll get ready to do the black one in the foreground. Alright, and time for that last tree. So I'm going to curve into the moon here and come down and then I'm going to come up and over and have another branch come down to around here and another branch over here. And then I'm going to have this side sweep over to this branch and this side sweep over to this branch. And that allows you to have really beautiful connection between them. And then you might want to have other branches connecting. and then you're gonna start kind of adding in those leaves and with this one you're not gonna have it all connected you're gonna have it mostly connected so you're gonna consider the fact that it wouldn't be this perfect row and there you go you just made a beautiful safari and landscape and now you can add in some silhouettes of animals I hope you had so much fun creating this